Hey there, Mark and Michael with you with our producer, Fei Wu, and uh, here we are answering our career Ask Me Anything questions. So here's one that came in. I'm going to read it. Forgive me losing your eye contact. When I look at the question, I want to make sure I get it right because it's kind of long. This one's from Carly. And she says, awkward work situation. So as an employee wanting to learn more about the business, your role in the business in the future, as well as where I can learn to improve myself in my future career, are all very common things that run through employee minds like mine. However, how should I handle the situation if an employee, I guess in this case her, asks a question in relation to the wider business or future, where the business is going and the response given by the manager is along the lines of a harshly tone, you don't need to worry about that or why are you thinking about that? This leaves the feeling of being left out and lots of unknowns in the mind with no willingness for management to share knowledge. It kind of creates an awkward working environment. I'd love both of your takes on this situation. So what she's talking about, and she's kind of generalizing it, but I think for herself, Carly is wondering, hey, if I ask about things I think that are bigger or broader beyond the immediate scope of my work and I get kind of shut down, what should I do with that? How should I handle this situation? What's going on? Mark, I'll start with you. What are your first thoughts when you hear Carly's question? Look, my first thoughts about this is the reason this is happening may not be the reason that this person shouldn't have access to this information. I'm going to suggest it's more likely that the person being asked this doesn't know that information. And, and what this question is doing is pushing upon their status or actually what, what in a business you might reasonably be thought to have worked out. You know, in how many businesses have you come across where you might ask the question, so, you know, what's, what's the goal of this organization? And everybody's like, uh, right, um, mm, yeah, like, and nobody knows. Nobody knows. You know, what, nobody knows what the goal is or nobody knows some of those bigger questions. And that can be, in some of the best organizations in the world, they still haven't worked out. Like, what are we doing this for? What's the big picture here? So, you know, my first take on this would be if you ask those bigger scope questions don't necessarily be surprised if there's pushback and the pushback isn't about you don't you know there's no need to know on this one it's that don't have an answer and maybe one thing is look may, maybe you want to get back to me on that you know maybe you want some time to think about that but Michael what do, what do you got on this one yeah, it's interesting because, I mean, generally I would find someone asking a strategic question, which is how I'd label that, to be valuable. But then again, I'm trying to be strategic as well, and I want my team, when I was in you know corporations and running teams, to think that way as well. But y your point about they may not know is really interesting. And so what may happen at that point is you're asking a more strategic question, and their head is just in execution. They probably know at some level they should know more than that, and so that's why you might get that tersely worded answer. For me, I'm probably going to avoid that asking strategic questions of that person in the future. And honestly, I'm going to start to wonder about their value in the role that they're in if they can't direct me more strategically or connect me to the wider levels of the business. Now, that being said, you need to do the job you're hired to do, and you don't always have the manager that you want. Now, for me, I want to get out of the job if it's not the right one for me, and I want to find the manager that I want to work with. But while you're there you might want to find other ways to deal with that. And there's a lot of things that you can do. One of the things we used to say when we talk about thinking strategically is think about what your boss's boss would want. So go up a couple of levels. And you might want to pay attention to what that person is saying, what they're focusing on, what they're measuring, what they're talking about, and glean more from that. Because that also may be the more strategic level for you to be thinking and talking about. I was just having a conversation with a client about this today. And he was saying, is there any kind of, you know, it was one of those generic questions like kind of general advice you give executives. And I said, well, it's too huge a question to answer, but I, I will I will tell you this, that you should always be thinking and speaking and, and framing what you do up strategically from where you're at if you want to move up more strategically. So I think it's the right question to ask. This is probably the wrong person to ask it of, but certainly something you can talk to your peers about, see what their consensus is, and certainly you can listen to the people above them and see what they're saying. That's probably what I'd be doing. And then for now, I'd be letting it go with that person and not reminding them on a regular basis that they might not actually know where they're taking the team or the organization because that's going to make them feel bad about themselves. And then turn they're going to turn that around and make them feel bad about you or negative towards you. Mark, any final thoughts on that? Well, I think that's brilliant. Uh, probably the right question, but asked to the wrong person. 
I think that's I think that's absolutely key, which you know says in my mind, look, go find the right person to ask this question to, and you may get a completely yeah. different response. Uh, Faye, pop in for me because my guess is is that you know in in your world, in Faye's media world, you know when you're serving people uh, in you know with how to be strategic with their media, you often ask the question, hey, you know, what are you trying to achieve with your you know webcast or podcast or whatever it is? And my guess is. Some people have answers for you, and some people like, well, I, I don't know, just making a, a, a thing, you know, and, and there may be a bit of pushback on that. What do you do about when you asked a strategic question and you're really not getting the answer that would be helpful for you? Oh, well, that's a really interesting question as well, because I see my clients kind of in two camps. One, like you said, they come in with a very strategic and very clear vision. And immediately I know that they have been in business for a little while. And then I see the other folks who are probably doing this for the first time, their first ever podcast, they're just starting their business up. And I hear things like, I have no idea how much this is supposed to cost, no clue, and which sometimes makes the conversation can be quite difficult. So I try to educate the client as much as possible, taking some baby steps, and with, you know, clients who don't really have a clear vision, I tend not to sign up for a retainer. I want to make sure we start with project based. Uh, and this way we can kind of just be uh, in locksteps and understanding each other better and see if we're even a good fit. Yeah, I mean, that's really key, isn't it? That sometimes whether you're working with clients or whether you're an employee of some sort within an organization in a career, if you're in an organization where some of the people who should have a clear vision don't have a clear vision, maybe something is is up. But there's also situations where you can be in great organization and everybody's making it up as they go along. Michael Lecky, in, in digital transformation, for example, you, you know, what's the difference between somebody not having a clear vision or not quite knowing how it's going to get done? I know that I know that, you know, there's a big difference between the two. Yeah, you know, it's funny. I think it comes down to what I refer to in, in, in my book as um, exploring before executing. And I think one of the problems is, is that execution, getting stuff done that we need to get done, is so critical. But you always have to check. And I was actually talking to a client about this this morning as well. I said, look, on with your team, on probably just a weekly basis, for yourself daily, but your team weekly, I'd be saying, hey, let's take a look at what's kind of out before us this week, the things that we need to get accomplished and get done, the balls are moving forward. By the way, has anything shifted, changed, or come new across the transom that might impact what we're doing this week, what our priorities are, what matters most? And you know what? If the answer is no, that's a great answer. But ask the question and be thinking about it and say, what could we be doing to ensure that we stay strategic? Because I think the difference in, in being strategic and not being strategic is actually not huge. It's small. Most of the time, you're executing. But you always have to pause and look at it through the lens of immediate and fresh strategy and what you're trying to accomplish. Otherwise, that path begins to diverge. It's almost like the path stays the same, but the world around you changes. And all of a sudden, wait a minute, the path is not going where you want it to anymore. Not because it's changed, but because it stayed the same and we haven't questioned it, but the world has changed around it. So that's what I really think about when I think about how do you stay strategic. If you've got questions about staying strategic, and really accomplish what you want to do in your career, then our career Ask Me Anything, you can submit questions at michaellecky.com forward slash ask or at our YouTube or LinkedIn uh, sites, anywhere you want to. Just go ahead and post those questions. We kind of scour all the channels for it, and we'll be happy to talk to you about them as soon as we get them from you. Thanks so much.